Hi, this is Baby. Um, it's about six o'clock in the morning, a little later. I don't know. I got some sleep. I woke up maybe like a couple hours ago. Um, it's amazing. As soon as I turn the, uh, the camera on, I'm starting to see notifications. Other than that, they don't see them. Um, I was thinking, of course, the noisy ass voice is, you know, is there. And I thought to myself, is like, what they're trying to uh, picket me about serial killing. And thoughts coming in people's heads, like, you know. I was thinking of serial killers, like, it was just literally a moment ago. And I was saying out loud. And my theory on serial killer, I could be wrong on serial killers, is like, most of them are cold and methodical. They're detached. Not really esoteric in nature. They're kind of... That's my, my take on them anyway, from the, but my limited knowledge on how they would be. They would be detached. They would be cold. They would be methodical. They would be almost like uh, philosophical in nature. One of the things that back in 2000, uh, uh, from between 2017 to 2020, I had heard psychics were making phrases that they, this guy was saying to her. Phrases like, you seem confused. And I was like, I got pissed off on her behalf. Because if somebody says that to me, to me, I wouldn't know how to respond. Normally, people wouldn't know how to respond. I don't need no, any special training, because I can be as insolent as shit if I want to be. The thing is, when somebody say, you seem confused. Normally people, their reaction would just sink them deeper into a hole. Because they'll try to go about proving that they're not confused, which will make them sound extremely confused. And annoyed and every negative <laughs> word attached to whatever the, the, the response would be. Because instantly the annoyance is going to come up. The feeling to defend themselves is going to come up. And the combination will be bad. But anyway. Um, I don't even know. It's like I, I woke up and did all these thoughts. And so the thought of serial kill killers came into my head. Serial killers. You know, how they would act in my version, in my, one of my version, my theory of what a serial killer would be is that they're, they're cold, they're detached, they're methodical. There'd be, um, oh, I was thinking of um, a course that I, I want to take to help my business. It's a course in hypnotherapy. Yes, and I'm putting it out there so there's a record of now I'm actually learning this, not, not back when. And um, I would be thinking like, because uh, I, I, I wanted to do this before, but I said I don't want to. Because if these people are crawling people's heads and putting suggestions in their mind, planting, I don't want to be, well, I have this particular skill set. So I'm the one responsible, like if I'm with them or, or, or if they're just picking it from my mind. I don't want to do that. Because they're obviously one of, you know, they're targeting me and I don't know why. How my mind works, what's different or what is so different. Is I just have logic. 
Everybody has it. Some people choose not to use it. I just don't understand. This just doesn't make sense. So, and I thought of serial killing. I don't know why I thought of that. Because most serial killers who are sloppy, they get caught. Because they're emotional. But mostly serial killers are... I guess the, 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 the indication in my mind is to, is to pivot me. Well, look, I have the makings of a serial killer. Okay, I may, but I could choose not to. I can take a, a hammer and pound my finger to smithereens. Why choose not to? Because it hurt. I can take the same hammer and pound somebody else in the head with it. But I won't because it'll hurt and it's wrong. Yeah. Just saying. I can be cold and detached about it too. You know. Life. Yeah. Alright then, moving on. The thing is... When it, when it comes to like... I, I don't know how my, my mind works, but... What's so fascinating if they just want me to say shit because it doesn't make sense anymore? But I, I just wanted to put it out there that now I'm doing this course. Like, I, I feel like I have to do this. But then again, I don't have to do this because this is what they want. They want me to put make a diary of myself on, on, on YouTube. Which means they're going to continue to do this. But then I'm between a rock and a hard place, aren't I? Because they're hacking me, they're watching me, they're doing, and, and they, they just want me to outline it on YouTube out of fear. So if they get caught, one slip up and they're done. And they've got millions of them. But it's like she's securing the position to keep fucking torturing me. She, there's some money somewhere, I believe. And she's trying to, give, to get to use my stuff to say, well, she's doing this. And she's doing that. I mean, how can a person just utilize another? They've got to be like the dumbest bunch of people on the fucking planet. She's got to be like the dumbest broad ever, man. I mean, is she, is she, how dumb can this broad be? And I'm sorry to call her that, but I just, I just can't. There goes my, my lack of impulse control. Because I got emotional. I got emotional. I reacted to my own frustration. That's me reacting to me. But anyway. But what I'm what I'm saying is like I don't I don't understand. But making that I wanted to do this course for, for a while now, but I kept putting it off. Because of some of the stuff that's happening to me. Because people say that they're planting suggestions in your minds and I don't want, you know, like to to, to be responsible for this but then I can't hold myself back either I cannot hold myself back from life either it's almost, it's almost like they, they want to con people into, into limiting themselves and then they find peop, other people to take our places because there's, there's such a thing as a space once the space is energetically being created, this, this space, there's someone to fill it. They're using our creativity, our empathy. We create, it's a feeling universe. We create this thing and then they take it from us. What they've done to me is a prime example of, 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 of a bully. This is what they do. They, they have some type of energetics. In, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is not just simple hacking, unfortunately. 
This is not just your, your physical part where you hack and you bully and you hack and you bully and you hack and you bully and you take by force. This, there's something different here. They're like, they're like band energy bandits. Like a timeline bandit. She, she thinks that she's unique in this. It's like, it's like a feeling of, of a head rush. Like she's paving the way for others, you know? She's a pioneer. This is how she sees herself. This is, this, this is what I'm guessing how she sees herself. Like she's redefining the whole world of, 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 of the underworld, that is. Of the way how things are done. Just use people like me to create things and then take them. Use people like me to create things, isolate them. They create things, nobody knows. And then they just, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. This is what they do. This is what they do. So, I don't know. One of the things the psychics had said back then was that she's just being lazy. She's just being lazy. That's what the boyfriend said. I thought, well... If she's just locked up in her house doing drugs, then, you know, that doesn't happen. The next thing you know, somebody's cleaning her house. I think they did that. That is like... That's what they meant. I was... If I did a psychic reading, I used to send a recording to her. Why didn't she stop me at the same time? Why didn't she say something and stop me? I wasn't hiding anything from her. I used to send it to her. Literally tape it and send it to her. And I used to tell the people I'm taping this to send it to her. Because I didn't have anything to hide. But it, the thing is... Um, I One thing I've noticed is like I feel like I'm... Yeah, you know, I feel like like I'm like I'm drowning almost. Like this liquid on my nose. There's this this. My mask is off when it's happening. The smell of garlic is very strong right now. It's the weekend. It's off-putting. It's strong. It stinks. It's it it just you know. I don't know what the, what's the deal with the garlic. I don't know. Maybe a vampire thing. I don't know. I have no idea. These people have really crude sense of humor. When I say crude, it's almost non-existent. Because they're, they're, they're boring, they're tedious, they're stupid. Their sense of humor is, 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 well, it's not there. They don't have any. They've got no class. They've got no finesse. They've got no, no, um, they're just crude. Why would they want to take everything from people with this crudeness? What, how, how are they replacing people? Like Neanderthals. Like they've got nothing. They just, I don't know. They want to fill people's shoes. And they can't even put, them, put, put their, their, their feet in their, flip, in their flip-flops. They can't do it. Don't understand. I mean, they're just they're 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 just like, and they want to turn everything around. Like you're trying to take things from them. Like you're trying to take things from them. With what? Tweezers? What? What I want to say on here, I'm not gonna say. What I want to see on here is I'm not going to say. But anyway, 
feels like it, like I'm just having this um I feel almost like you're like there's liquid in this like I'm drowning I don't know what the hell it is but anyway let's try to stay positive and I know this was just rambling but I just felt like I needed to ramble I will make another video shortly when I'm more coherent